Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Dia and happy Mother's Day. Uh, I'm just making a quick video talking about Mother's Day and what it means to like me, I guess. I'm sorry for the lack of cod recently. Uh, for starters, I had to take, go out of town to take care of a really personal matter. I was out of town from Wednesday afternoon all the way until yesterday nighttime. I literally got home, I streamed, and then I went to bed. So I didn't really make a video for yesterday and I didn't have enough time with my current work schedule and such to make videos in, pro in, in like an attempt to kind of have stuff ready for when I go out of town. This month has just been super busy for me and I apologize. Uh, I will have a Call of Duty video up tomorrow, um, but today, again, I'm just running short on time and I'm gonna get to those reasons why. And that kind of involves today a little bit with Mother's Day. So for starters, I just wanna say happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there, you know, you guys, doing your best and i really appreciate everything that you guys do i really appreciate especially my mom which i'm actually dedicating this video to today my, my mom has done absolute wonders for me she is literally the most important person in my entire life she's above all of my friends and like all my other family and you know my everything just my mom is the most important thing and person in my entire life um for like for everything from when i was little and i wanted to play sports i wanted to play soccer and my dad couldn't take me due to work my mother always took me she only missed two games of her like entire time of taking me one of them was she was so sick she literally couldn't get out of bed and the other one was they closed on my parents closed on a house other than that they made she made every single game i have ever played and that is something that my mom, I think I took really for granted at the time. I was just, oh, we're going to the game, you know, I'm going to go play, whatever. I didn't realize how much my mom took me. I mean, I went to five practices a week, three to five games on the weekends. Sometimes there were less, but there was usually between three and five on the weekends. Because I was also helping out other groups within my club. And, you know, she took me to every single one without fail. It'd be like, oh, the weekends we go and watch that. We even regularly meet on Thursdays and we go and discuss... Like things from way back when I play sports and my mom always talked about how much she enjoyed watching me play and I enjoyed having my mom there and she's always been hard on me as well about sports but she always gave me the props on if I played well and just like with sports she does that in real life when it comes down to jobs and it comes down to like my real life experiences relationship advice playing video games anything moving being a real life adult she's still helping me to this day and my mom not only gives me advice that I need, but tells me when I need to kind of, for lack of a term, lock in. I need to just kind of suck it up and take care of myself. She also like goes out to dinner with me, like I said, and we even joke about stuff that most parents wouldn't joke with their kids about, especially at my age, I'm 24 years old. And I we joke about a lot of stuff that when I tell people about, they're like, you talk about that with your mom? I'm like, oh yeah, we laugh about it. We joke about it. We say, stupid stuff we're out to dinner for like two or three hours every time we go out to eat without a shadow of a doubt it's just super super laid back super easy we have a ton of stuff in common and i get along super super well with my mom and i'm really really looking forward to i guess the next step of now i'm actually growing into an adult because i will be getting my own place i've referenced this a couple uh in a couple videos in the past but I'll, in about two weeks time, I will be having my own house, not my own house per se, but I'll be renting out my mom's old place while she moves in with her boyfriend to, to basically move out of the current home I'm in. I'll be going and living with uh, one of my buddies and I will be living there and I'll be renting out the home from her. She's, cause She knows that she could get probably four times the amount that she's asking from us from other people based on the houses that are in the area but she's willing to rent out the home to myself and a friend of mine for literally just the straight up like this is what it costs to own the home price and that is something that i don't feel like a lot of people can say that their parents do for them a lot of people would be like oh go get go at your own place like you need to find like an apartment to live in you need to rent out a home with someone else or whatever uh, like my family has offered me several opportunities to live in a building that they own and I'm super super thankful for that it's something that I I've been taking it, uh, into consideration more and more and how lucky I truly am and overall and on top of that my mom she is even helping me with the move and I'll be helping her with her move and we still meet on Thursdays and on top of that not only did she help me with sports but she also helped me with my gaming 
when I wanted to pursue content creation, my mom always told me you should do something involving video games because if I wasn't playing sports, I was playing video games. I actively would like not tell my parents I, I did my homework. When I didn't, I would do it when I get to school in the morning or I'd do it before I, you know, would come home before after school and I would just play games. They'd be like, you do your homework? Yeah, okay, you can play games. And I'm like, cool. And I'd just go play. I'd play for hours and hours and hours and hours. Even in the summer, they wanted me to do stuff. I would just play games for hours and hours and hours. And they always told me, why don't you do something involving video games? And I was thinking at the time, I don't know if I want to do this. This doesn't seem really right. My dad bought me my first computer. And as time went on, my dad lost interest in like pushing me to do this. He, But I would tell him that I was trying to get involved and do these things. He didn't really care, at least it seemed. Or in terms of he lost interest, he'd be like, oh, that's great. But that's it. My mother would be the one to push and push and push. She'd be like, make sure you do this. Make sure you do that. Make sure you whatever. Like all these things that content creators essentially need to do. Or like people who wants to play professional video games. Someone who wants to do that. She would make sure I do them. And it's insane. My mom even tunes in to some of my streams from time to time. Before I started doing YouTube consistently, I tried streaming for over a year trying to do it consistently and I just was getting extremely uh, bothered and upset by everything and I really didn't feel as if I had a chance I didn't feel as if I could make myself the content creator I wanted to be and instead I end up pushing YouTube but when I would go to stream my, I would tell my mom would ask hey are you gonna stream today cool and she would leave me alone she would you know, like, get me what I need, and she wouldn't come in my room because she knows that I'm streaming, and she knows I want to be, like, you know, I want to focus on that, but I always told my mom, hey, don't be afraid to come in my room. I'm happy, and I'm proud that I live with my mom, and I can help take care of you, as well as I know that I'm not financially ready to live on my own, and that's okay, and I, because of that, I just very much was... I, we finally, I, it was all a couple weeks after I was, I had to move out of my home and come live with my dad, but my mom would finally start coming in on my streams and doing like funny stuff and everything like that. And she would talk to me and everything. And my mom even would view my YouTube videos, retweet my tweets on Twitter. She, my mom doesn't have followers and my mom doesn't have social friends. My mom doesn't care about any of that. But the fact that my mom did that showed so much to me that on how lucky I am to have somebody that even if it wasn't the career that my mom had intended for me, and if it, even if it wasn't the dreams and aspirations that I originally had, my mother is still trying to support me to the best of her ability. And not only that, but my mom keeps it real with me and she tells me when you know, I'm fucking up, when I'm succeeding, when I'm struggling, when I'm, you know, I can be told I'm doing good things. And overall, like, I cannot thank my mom enough for how much she has done for me. Mom, if you ever, ever, ever see this video, for some reason, just know that I love you and you make me extremely proud to be your son every single day. I'm going to keep pushing. I'm going to keep doing my best. And hopefully one day I can buy you the car that you crave, that you love so much. And maybe one day I can get you the nice things that I always said I wanted to get you. I'm going to keep pushing. I'm going to keep trying. But until that point, I will all you'll always be on my mind and you'll always be the center of my dreams and ambitions and my life thank you guys for watching i really do appreciate it and make sure you tell your moms uh, happy mother's day for me and for yourself because without our moms we are nothing we are we are lost our moms give direction and i'll cover what dads do in my opinion on father's day like making a father's day video just like this and it'll be, you know, the topic is self-explanatory. Um, but thank you guys for checking out today's video. And I'll catch you guys on another one. Hey, Mom, I love you.